Hello friends, in today's class, we are going to see the demonstration of LR parsing algorithm. Welcome back here and here in this section, we are learning this uh, uh, LR parsing algorithm. So I already explained you this algorithm, but uh, here now I will demonstrate you this, uh, the actual working of it. So for that, I have taken the example, which is uh, example number one, uh, for which we have designed this, uh, uh, this table. Okay, so this, this table has been uh, designed and this is roughly the same thing that I have written and that has been translated into this uh, particular table. Okay, so this has been translated to this particular table and this is the table for it. So now what we'll do here is we will see this, uh, how actually this bottom of parsing works over here. Okay, so here I0 is the state and uh, your input I have taken here is as A, B, B. Now we'll see I0 on input A. So I0 on input A going to the state I3. So that is your shift action. And that action is written over here as, a, as your shift action. So shift I3, okay. So now we'll go to the next state. So I0 on input A going to the state I3 and that is a shift action over here. Now what we'll check here, I3 on input B. So look at here, the state I3, this I3 on input B going to the state I4 and that action is also summarized here as your I4. The shift, this is again a shift action and this is with the new state here in this case on input B. So what I'm checking here is, I3 on input B going to the state I4. Okay, so that is a, again a shift action and uh, we'll do the shift action over here. Okay, so now this is a shift action I0 on input A, I3, I3 on input B going to the state I4 that is a shift action. The next is your I4 on input B. Okay, and look at this table that I4 on input B going to the state now there is a reduction by third production. So I have written those, those the, I have written that production over here that reduce by A derived B. What we need to do here is there is a three step process that we need to pop symbols. How many symbols we have to pop? Pop two symbols. Why? Because we have written here as A derived B and length of B is equal to 1. So if there is a 1 then we will pop two symbols. If there is a 2 then we will pop four symbols. So pop two symbols out of it. So now this I4 and B has been popped and my new state is exposed is I3. Then the next step is what? Second step, three step process. So popping two, two times of symbol, then push A. Now push capital A onto this. So I3 on input A, push A and this is A. And the third step is what? Go to new state. So where you have to go? You have to go from I3 on input capital A. I3 on A, look at here, I3 on A, I3 on input capital A going to the state I6. So the new state will be I6. So this is I3 on input A, I6. Okay. And uh, fine, we are done with this, this step. So this is a three step reduction. Uh, in many book you will find this is doing in a single uh, step but I have written here explicitly to describe you that exactly what the three step is. Now I6 on input B okay I6 on input B look at here I6 on input B it is reduced by second production and that production I have written over here A derived small a capital A so that is the second production. How many symbol we need to pop here we will pop four symbol out of it so 1, 2, 3, 4, up to A we need to pop, pop 4 symbol. So that has been popped. Then what, push left hand side of the production. So here the left hand side of the production is A. So now we will push A. Then the third step is go to new state. So where the new state will come from? I0 on input capital A. Okay, so I0 on input capital A is I2. So that is my new state. So there will go I2. Okay, now, so that is the three step process. Now what we'll check here, I2 on input B. Since I have not moved anything till now, 
only two shift actions so that two times symbols has been taken into the stack but now uh, and then we had the reduced state only okay so now this one i2 on input b so i2 on input b going to the state i4 so that is shift i4 that is what it is written over here so now i2 on input b going to the state i4 and now we have done shift so only dollar symbol is left i4 is what it's a reduced state you can also see that i4 the next input symbol is dollar so dollar what we have to do reduce by third production so a derived b and here a derived b is this and we'll pop again two symbol so now i4 and b will be popped i2 state will be exposed then what we'll do push left hand side of the production so push a push a this is your pushing of a and then go to new state which is your uh, i5 i5 huh? so i5 we are in i5 state and the next input symbol is dollar look at here what is written over here in this so i5 on input dollar is reduced by one production so what is that one production as derived double a how many symbol we need to pop four symbols right why because double a consists of double a the length of this string is what equal to two so we need to pop four symbols to pop four symbols what will be popped out 5 a i2 a four symbol will be popped out i0 will be exposed push left hand side of the production so we will push s okay and uh, s and then what we need to do go to new state so go to new state here i1 the next action will be i1 and i1 is a special category of the state that is the augmented one added one i1 on input dollar look at here i1 on input dollar what is here is accept okay so that's that is how this uh, bottom of parser works now here the parser the, here the bottom of parser will this uh, lr0 parser will stop here lr0 parser will stop okay so now uh, you should be uh, i think you have a fair idea about this this process this algorithm will not change only thing that will be keep on changing is this table right now this table is your lr0 table and table will change otherwise the course of action the push and pop still uh, popping is a three step process i am repeating it again 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 pop twice as many symbols on the right hand side push left hand side and then go to new state okay? so you should be very clear with this idea of uh, this pop operation pushing is going to new state so every time i0 like on input a going to the state i3 you can refer the table i0 on input a going to the state i3 every time there is a push the symbol will be on the stack a will be on the stack so i hope you got a fair understanding of this uh, lr parsing algorithm and uh, uh, the be careful with uh, pop operation push is simple okay so that's all for this session thank you